okay csi net module one from biochemistry and this is about peptide bonds very very important some again some uh, very important tips and you know peptide bonds once once you hear the name peptide bond it is consisting of mainly the sequence that's very very important you need to know because in peptide bond there are carbon nitrogen and all these things are arranged together to make those amino acid structures so the sequence is C, C, N and C. Now among that C, you listen two types of C are given. One is normal, another one is alpha C. Now among this thing, I must say that there is C alpha, C, N and C alpha. So that is the arrangement in a peptide bond. C alpha, C, N and then again C alpha. C, C, N, C. That's the way the arrangement actually works. Now from this arrangement, what we can know about the the properties of peptide bonds some very interesting properties and very important properties tons of questions are there from these properties one is that these peptide bonds are actually polar in nature right definitely that means they are having hydrophobic and hydrophobic nature hydrophilic and hydrophobic nature hydrophobic means they are going away from water hydrophilic means they tends to reside in the soluble form of the water second thing they are planar the structure is mostly planar that means they are not popping something out so if you if you imagine a plane all of those materials are placed all those different uh, different you know carbon nitrogen all of those atoms are placed in the same plane so they are planar they are partially double bonded in nature now once we talk about the partially double bonded in nature you need to talk look something like this now in this case what we can look at here C alpha C N C alpha again those bonds and among those bonds remember rotation around C C alpha and N C alpha is allowed so rotation is allowed in this axis they can rotate rotation is also allowed this axis N C alpha it's possible but remember rotation around N C is not possible so this is definitely not possible that's why this bond I, I draw it as a double bond and actually it's not a double bond it's a single bond but this bond is actually working like a partial double bonded character so they are kind of partially double bonded in nature that's why the rotation around the CN is not possible now who said that it is pre prescribed by Ramachandran and in his plot he described that the rotation around those C and axis is not possible due to the partial double bonded nature and Ramachandran actually showed us in his plot that where exactly due to the presence of this different bond uh, inside the peptide bonds and and the different angles that are present in the peptide bond because you know there are different uh, R groups obviously associated because we are talking about amino acids amino acid definitely have R groups so they have R groups so R groups have steric hindrance so due to all these things there are some of the configuration and confirmation of proteins that are allowed some confirmations are not allowed to be present at a particular secondary structure which is alpha helix beta sheet right so majorly secondary structure means alpha helix beta sheet now alpha helix can be of two type right handed left handed so if you look at here the three possibilities to have a structure of a protein in alpha helix uh, right handed alpha helix left handed and beta sheet now in this case Ramachandran actually described as uh, who is going to be placed in where in exactly and who is going to have what kind of secondary structure confirmation there and if you look at here in Ramachandran plot how it actually looks like you know you can see here four quadrants are there and in those four quadrants they place different proteins now remember the rule of Ramachandran plot is that here you can see the angles 180 degree on the top or minus 180 degree bottom here again minus 180 degree from here to plus 180 degree at this direction so if you look at here the direction is the arrow will be in the top plus 180 degree here is the in the in the horizontal axis 180 degree now here will be the placement of different proteins different protein secondary structures for example if you take hemoglobin as an example where should the hemoglobin will be placed there you know hemoglobin is having a tertiary structure quaternary structure even so if you take hemoglobin hemoglobin tends to be present more in the right handed alpha helix orientation right handed alpha helix confirmation and in Ramachandran plot right handed alpha helix confirmation containing proteins should be present here 
in y uh, this region in exactly this region on the other hand materials or amino acids or proteins should present in this x region are those they have more beta sheet similarly those amino acids or those proteins having more alpha helix left handed tends to be present in the z part so right handed alpha helix right handed alpha helix sorry right handed helix present here left handed helix in the z position beta sheet placed in the x position so these are the different positions of proteins are having different conformations that are placed in the Ramachandran plot. Remember, this is very, very important. Many questions in CSN net come from this region. So this is what you should know about the peptide bond, at least. Rest of them are kind of fine. It's okay with that. But these are the thing you should know. And the example is hemoglobin. And hemoglobin should be present here in the Ramachandran plot. Thank you.